lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Halloween decor haul for you guys. I have so many good things. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the haul. Okay, where to begin? I think we will start off with these pumpkins right here. These were on the checkout aisle, of course, of Home Goods, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, these were $6.99 each, and I got two of them. They were so beautiful, so shiny and metallic. These would be perfect for Thanksgiving. That's just how they get you, you know? Those checkout aisles is where they hide the really, really good stuff. So I have these two so beautiful i did feel weird because i was like huh i did not get any pumpkins this year and here we have six of them right here i mean of course they are attached but still so so gorgeous i love these these will definitely be making it onto my thanksgiving table i know i said spooky haul and i do have some spooky stuff over there as well to show you guys so let me show you guys the non-spooky stuff first and then we'll move on to the goodies so next up we have this beautiful frame um it is made in india and it is 6.99 from home goods i just thought this was the most beautiful frame just fully beaded oh my gosh love it and elephants are my favorite animal so so gorgeous i think i need to put a picture of when we went to the taj mahal in here i think that will look really really pretty but i absolutely love this the beading just reminded me of like of a of a sari uh of the beauty of a sari and just oh my gosh next let's see let me move these things out of the way let me just do this guy first um so this is a little dispenser for olive oil and i thought this was so pretty and it's even blinged out which if you've uh seen any of my previous videos you know that i love glitter and bling so <laughs> There's that. This was $3.99 from Home Goods. And I have always wanted a pretty bottle for olive oil, but they never seem to have like an actual like closure. They always seem to be open. So this one actually comes with a like a cap that you can lock into place, which I really, really love. So that is why I went with this one. And this one looks so much prettier on my counter space than the plastic bottles that I have. Some wine bottles that I've gotten look really, really nice, but some of them like when I get like great value or something, which I try not to, but when I do, I just prefer them in a pretty bottle like this. Next, we have another item made in India, obviously. And I, I am Indian, so like, I guess I'm naturally attracted to these things. I don't know what it is, but I really loved this wooden tray. It's like really sturdy, heavy duty. Um, let's see, this was $16.99 from Home Goods, And I actually wanted it for like a, a craft i'm thinking of doing something with it um so make sure to stay tuned i'll either post it on youtube or on instagram or tiktok so make sure you're following me on those platforms but i do have something in mind for this the design reminded me of i think it's uh star wars i believe there's like a symbol like this i'm not sure exactly but my husband really really liked this pattern and he was like oh that looks really nice actually and so that is why we got it. Um, the craft thing that I'm like planning on making with this, I looked online and there were ones that were going for like $400 and $300. So I was like, okay, that's something I can possibly make. So let's go for it. So that is why. Anyways, <laughs> really, really pretty. Um, you can even use it for food like pastries or appetizers or what have you. Really, really nice. All right. Since we're already talking about food and cookware let's move on to this guy right here this is so cute this is a party bowl and it has a built-in toothpick holder i was like what is this little guy for and you can literally put little toothpicks in there oh my gosh so cute and they have little ghosties all around and originally they like i had um picked up the mummy version there's a smaller white one with a little mummy in the center when i was going to show my husband he was standing right next to this one and i was like oh my gosh this one's a little bit bigger and it has ghosties and i have been obsessing over little ghosties 
since like last year. I don't know. Last year was definitely the year of the ghost. Uh, so yeah, I have a little party bowl and I am definitely planning on making a bunch of little appetizers and maybe for like Halloween, you know, just watch a, some Halloween movies and have a bunch of spooky appetizers and I, I think it will be really fun. I've officially become the crazy Halloween lady. I don't, I, I don't have any like cookware that's like holiday specific and this is the first one and it, hopefully, hopefully it's the last, but you know, I don't know. I mean, other than mugs, other than mugs, I should say. But how cute is he? He's a little off center, I have to say. He is like a little, little off center. It's hard to tell, but in person, he's definitely off center. But still so stinking cute. I hope they come out with like a Christmas version of this, like a little something like an ornament or an elf or something. I think that'll be so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is this guy. Let's see. Let's go to, oh, did I say this is from Home Goods? Yeah, all of this so far has been from Home Goods. Um, next we have this broom. This is actually desk art, which I've never heard of like desk art, but I guess if you're a student or if you have like a cubicle or something you want to spruce up, this would be perfect. This is from TJ Maxx and it was $5.99 and it's really simple, but I really liked the Hocus Pocus sign, like the gl glitziness of it, you know, like it's really, really shiny, of course, but also like the font of Hocus Pocus and the border and everything. I just thought it was really pretty. And I was like, maybe I can make this, but the sign I could not make. I think this would be really nice for a tiered tray as well, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have not started decorating for Halloween yet, so we will see. Make sure to stay tuned for those videos. Next, we have Hermione Granger. And previously, I had hauled Ron. I had been looking for this version of Ron since forever. And I'll link that video down below so you can uh, go see it. But I had stated that I wanted Hermione and Harry Potter as well. So that's, that's Ron right there. And then now I have Hermione, um, but I really want Harry Potter now. This is from Five and Below, and they did have Snape there, but I just, I don't know, I, I really just want the Golden Trio. Uh, they also had a Dementor there, but I didn't, I didn't want him either. I literally just want Ron, Hermione, and Harry. That's it. Possibly even Luna, but other than that, like, I just want these three. They look so stinking cute. So I finally have found Hermione. Now I'm on the lookout for Harry. Now, when we come over to my couch, we have this guy. Um, this is from Home Goods, and it is this like trio of pillows. One is orange, one is gray, and one is black, and they have little ghosties. My favorite is this one, obviously. <laughs> so cute. Um, this one was, let's see. Yeah, 30 bucks. So $10 per pillow. Kind of has like this corduroy print you know what I mean? But it, it's actually not corduroy. It's very, very soft though. I really like the material and I like that it came with three. And then whenever I'm not using this for the ghosties, I can use it as like a filler pillow. Um, that's at least what I was thinking. So there are those. Very, very cute and very soft. And next we have Vlad. He is so stinking cute. I, I can't believe it. We, um, my husband and I, just happened to pop into Kohl's just to walk around um, after we ate. <laughs> and it was too hot to walk outside. So we walked in the store. And I, I was like, I'm not buying anything. Because, you know, I, I normally don't buy a lot from Kohl's. But I saw him. And I knew I had to have him. So cute. Look at his little bow tie. That is what sold me. The little bat bow tie. How adorable. And his name is Vlad. I don't know if I said that already, but super cute. He has like a little cape and everything. Like, oh my gosh. And this is a Squishmallow in case uh, you didn't know. This is a Squishmallow. This is my first ever Squishmallow. And let me tell you, they are exceptionally squishy. Very soft, super duper soft. And I was on the fence of getting him because he was, I believe like 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. But my husband was like, okay, he's too cute. You have to, you have to get him. And so I did peer pressure. Anyways, how adorable. On to the final item. I have this beautiful, beautiful throw blanket. It's by Rachel Zoe from Home Goods and it was $24.99. How gorgeous is this? I love like celestial print like this, like the sun, moon, stars, stuff like that. I love things like that. I do wish it was like a really dark midnight blue instead of black, but I don't mind this at all. 
really gorgeous. I love the metallic. So pretty. And I actually got this for my Harry Potter room, which is pretty much almost done. I mean, it's crazy. Like I whipped that thing together so fast, but it looks pretty much complete right now. I mean, of course, Hermione has to go in there and this has to go in there, but there will be a room tour soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, I just have just like mainly one thing that I am trying to fix, but room tour coming soon. Stay tuned. Alrighty, you guys. So that was it for my Halloween haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.